Hi there, thanks so much for your purchase or your interest in automatic rotation timers. Today we're gonna take a look at what you get with your purchase and how you can set up your timers in just a few easy steps. I've downloaded a set of the reading timers for PowerPoint and when you have your download ready to go, this is what it will look like. You have the original version, which has more templates for you, and then the most recent update, there are movable pieces. So I'm going to start with a quick overview of the original version. If you're interested in the other version, I'll have a timestamp at the bottom and you can click to go right to that point of the video. The first decision you need to make is the time length of each center and then what style timers that you'd like. So after you choose your time length and style, then the rest of the steps will be the same. Once you're in this file, um, I understand it can be overwhelming for some buyers because there are many templates provided. I always tell people, delete any templates that you don't want. So if you know that you don't like to just display the group that you're meeting with, just delete them right away. Um, if you don't want just two groups, delete them. Um, so I'm going through and I am deleting any that I don't want. I know that I like five groups in my room, so I am deleting any templates that don't have five groups in them so I can see what I have left to choose from. So this takes just a minute of my time, but then I can see what I have remaining. There are so many templates just because I know the needs of every classroom are so different. So here's what I have left for my five group options. Every time there is a header on a center, these text bubbles are editable. The only thing that's not editable are the pictures, and this is just to lock the clip artist's work. Looking through these options, I think the first one is going to meet my needs the best, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the other ones that I don't need, and now I'm left with a really nice shell of what I need for my classroom. After all of my student names are typed in, my center slide is set up exactly how I'd like it to be. Now what I can do is I can right click on my slide and duplicate. You can also do control D. And then after I am duplicated, I can select all of my boxes and scoot them over a space so that it's reset. And I can continue this process until all of my students have visited all five centers. So it does take a little bit of legwork up front, but then after my centers are set up, I am in really good shape for all of my centers in the future. So at this point, I sped it up a little bit, but you can see that I have all of my five slides here. So all five groups have visited all five centers and it is prepped and ready to go. All of them will continue going automatically when I push play. Um, now I can see, decide if I want these get ready to rotate slides in. So I do like these so my students can have time to clean up so I can keep using that duplicate feature and I can insert them in between each center. And then after my last center, then I like to just have a two minute cleanup slide for the conclusion of centers. So now I can go ahead and push um, start on my slideshow. Then when I go ahead and start my presentation, you will see that my timer is beginning to play and fill across the bottom of the screen. So we'll do that automatically and then chime at the end and switch to the next center. Now let's take a look at the 2021 update that is a little bit different. Like I said before, this update is wonderful and a little bit more customizable. So I'm looking at the countdown timer version. How you can set this one up is you can take a look on the sidelines of each of these. It tells you how long the timer is set for. Um, so this one is a 10 minute version. So what I can do for this is decide how many groups I want. I usually do five groups so I can delete what I need and then decide what centers I need. If you were doing a teacher group, there are tons more teacher avatars at the top to choose from so hopefully there's one to meet your needs in the classroom and then you can arrange them and space them out across the top of your screen exactly how you like them and do the same with your groups then just like before i can delete any slides that i don't want so now that i have my initial slide set up i could type in student group names and now i'm going to set up the rest of my slides so they can visit all five centers so i'm going to duplicate my slide with Control d or right clicking on it and then i'm going to scoot over all my names and i do have to do this several times but once it's done it is done and my centers are all set 
All right, at this point, I have all of my five slides set up because every student is visiting a different group now. So I am ready to go. And then what's wonderful about this update is you have a bank of slides at the bottom. So you can decide, do you want students to have a slide in between their rotations or a cleanup slide? And then also, what would you like them to do when they're finished with all of their centers for the day? So you have the ability to um, you know, move those in between your slides or decide what you need. And so all of these, when you're hovering over them, they let you know um, how long the timer is. One minute, 30 seconds, two minute timer. And then um, it lets you know on these ones, there are no timer. Totally worth it though, because I know as soon as I hit the presentation button, my centers will continue moving um, the slides without any support from me and then my students will know where to go. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions for me and what video you'd like to see next. Thanks so much for watching.